Okay, hi you guys. So I'm doing a little bit vlog style and I'm about to meet my sister and her friend at Walmart. I'm going to be picking up some stuff to get to make an ugly Christmas sweater. So I'm going to bring you all along and then I'll come back home and do a little haul of what I got. And then of course make an ugly Christmas sweater. So with that, we're about to head to Walmart. Okay, so... I just got out of Walmart. I was gonna record in there and I didn't, but I got everything I needed. Plus, I got some yarn, which you guys are gonna see like way before this video because this is probably gonna be included in my Black Friday haul, even though there's no sale on this. Because as I'm filming this, it's like the 21st. Yeah, it's the 21st of November. You guys aren't gonna see this until like Christmas Eve. But anyway, um, plus I got some sweetening condensed milk for, um, pumpkin pies because Thanksgiving is next week as of filming this anyways I will share all of the stuff for the sweater once I get home but for now time to drive home okay guys so I just got back from Walmart and I'm gonna show you what's in this bag to make this ugly Christmas sweater so I didn't really have an idea of what I wanted to do on the sweater until I got there because I wanted to see what options Walmart had before I made up my mind. So once I saw all of my options, I decided that I was gonna make myself basically into a Christmas tree. <laughs> so I got all the stuff to do that. So first, of course, we have to have a base. So this is a crew neck sweatshirt from the men's section in a large. I would have much preferred a small because I normally wear like a small to medium in women's. So in men's, I would definitely need a small, but they only had large. This was the smallest size they had. All the other ones were extra large, all the way up to 4X, but no smalls or mediums. But this does give us a lot of space to add stuff to. So that was the most expensive thing I bought at $7.84. So next we went over to the craft section and the only thing I bought from that was actually Jingle Bells, just because I thought it'd be fun to make noise as I walk around. <laughs> And honestly, I don't know if I should say fun. It's probably more annoying. But those were $3.47. And almost everything else here is from the Christmas section. So I got some red and green tinsel. This was $3.88. I got some LED lights, which this one is LED multicolor mini lights that are battery powered. So I don't have to stand next to a plug the whole entire time. I'm wearing this sweater. So this was 96 cents. Next I have two things of bulbs. So these are green glittery ones and these have gold glittery ones as well as red ones. I believe these were 98 cents a piece. I bought this pack of 200 ornament hooks which I definitely don't need 200 for this, but we will use them for our regular Christmas tree. And this was also 98 cents. Final items is actually not for the sweater, it is for my head to make me look like a Christmas tree. So I got this set of two headbands, which I think maybe this was 98 cents. I cannot figure out what that is on the receipt. Um, but anyway, this is a two count, one just brown and one black. And finally, I got this little star, which did have a, um, a little thing because it was meant to be a ornament, but that actually broke off before I even bought it while I was trying to pick it up out of the cart. It got like stuck in the cart and then I ripped it, but I was like, good thing I didn't even want that piece anyway. I'm just going to be hot gluing the bottom of it to one of these headbands to make a star on my head because I couldn't find one that was in between this size and in between the size that's actually meant for a tree. So I had to go with like a miniature one because I know the one that's actually meant for a tree would not balance on my head. <laughs> so anyway, we have like a really small star. But that is everything that is going to be used in my ugly sweater. So now we're just gonna flip the camera downward and I'm gonna show you guys me putting it all together. So the only other things I'm gonna be using is hot glue and hot glue gun sticks and maybe like scissors and a couple other things like that. But if there's anything else, I will show you them obviously. And I will link all of this in the description box as well. So I now have the camera here pointing down towards the table so you guys can see what I'm doing as I'm DIYing this. 
First, I'm just gonna take the tags off because of course we don't want those. And I have my hot glue gun over here warming up. So I think my first step is going to be the tinsel because that's the main thing that I'm gonna be hot gluing on. And then I'm going to use the ornament hooks to kind of just poke holes through the shirt with them and put the ornaments on them. Before we get started on this shirt, I'm actually going to do the DIY for the headband. And we're gonna just do some hot glue and kind of put it on there like that. However I can get it to stay really is how I'm gonna put it on there. Okay, so I'm also gonna use some clear tape just to secure it because I feel like this hot glue is not gonna do very well. So since it's clear, I'm just gonna wrap it like through the star and around the headband as well. Okay, so here is that in between the hot glue and the packing tape. It has worked pretty well and it's staying pretty well. If I have problems with it staying, I'll just add some more hot glue or some more tape. But yeah, that's gonna be it for my little star thing. So now we're gonna move on to the shirt. Okay, so I'm gonna just unwrap the tinsel and I'm just gonna start in like the top corner here and start hot gluing it and kind of go all the way around just like you would wrap a regular Christmas tree basically. I'm just putting this cardboard that was from the tinsel inside the shirt. If the glue seeps through, it might accidentally glue the two sides of the shirt together and I don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna just move this piece of cardboard around as I'm gluing different sections. Okay, so we now have tinsel all over the front and the back and even the sleeves. So I actually used all of it, which surprised me. I thought that I wouldn't need all of it, but I did. So anyways, I'm now going to work on putting the ornament hooks on all of these ornaments. I started putting these ornaments on, but then I realized it's probably easier to put these lights on first. Oh, this is very small. <laughs> I thought this was going to be so much longer. I guess I should have read the fact that it says four foot. <laughs> That's okay. I'm just going to put it on only the front of the shirt. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of glue the lights like sort of up against the tinsel so that it kind of covers the cords a little bit.
Okay, so the camera died while I was finishing gluing on these lights, but we're back now and you can tell the lights are on, so they work. And I just wish they were a little bit longer because I would love to go like all the way around all of the tinsel that I put, but unfortunately I was only able to go from like here on this sleeve to the bottom down here and made like a little V shape. But um, anyways, I'm going to now put more of these ornaments on. Some of them came off while I was um, putting the lights on, but I'm gonna put more of the ornaments on, which I'm just poking them through the shirt, through like both layers so that it's sticking out this way so that it doesn't poke me on the inside of the shirt. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna work on this now. Okay, so everything for the front is on here. So I'm now going to flip and do the back side, but I'm gonna do that off camera. Just so you guys don't watch me do the same thing over and over. <laughs> okay, you guys, I feel a little crazy, but I have the sweater on, and here is the headband with it. I think it's actually really pretty cute. Hold on, let me turn on the light. There we go! Okay, that's actually really cute. So I'm gonna really quickly adjust the camera and stand up and everything so you guys can see the full thing okay you guys are pretty far back and i am leaned up against the wall so here it is in all of its glory i do wish that i had realized that the lights were only four foot because i would have gotten like two or three of them to continue it along but i still think it's really fun and Definitely an ugly Christmas sweater, but not like ugly to the point where I wouldn't wear it. You know what I mean? That's kind of the goal I was going for because I did not want to like ruin a shirt and pay money for all of this and then not actually wear it because it's that ugly of a Christmas sweater, you know? But I love that I did the headband too. And this actually feels pretty sturdy, surprisingly. I feel like it doesn't look that sturdy, but it does actually feel pretty sturdy. So that's great. And I'm gonna turn around really quick so you guys can see the back. It's basically just the same. So yeah, it's basically just the same but without the lights because of course there wasn't enough lights for all of this. And I did buy those jingle bells. I'm not gonna use them because I feel like this makes enough noise already. <laughs> and the jingle bells would just be annoying. So probably shouldn't even bought those but anyway okay you guys that is all for this video and that is all for creative christmas so i hope you guys have enjoyed the five videos five days in a row on my channel if you have enjoyed this video as well as all the other videos make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you guys want to see more from me you can check out more videos of mine my blog my etsy shop my podcast all of my social medias as well as my vlog channel all of that is always included in the description box down below for you guys all the materials that i use to make this will be linked in the description box below for you guys hey guys just a quick reminder before we end off this video i am currently doing vlogmas on my vlog channel where i am vlogging every single day for 25 days in a row so if you guys are interested in checking that out that will be the first link in the description box for you guys and with all of that, thank you all so much for watching this video, as well as all of the other creative Christmas videos. And if you haven't watched them, go back and watch them. And with all of that, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye!